but Lily Jen, you have both had the most extraordinary careers. You've had longevity in your careers, with your friendship with each other, and we thought there are no two better people on earth suited to offer up guidance and perspective to those in need. This is Life Advice with Lily and Jane. <laughs> So, Lily Jane, some of our Late Late staffers here, they've got questions for you about some specific matters that they might need help resolving. So, it'd be OK. If it's OK with you, the crew are going to ask some life advice. First up, we're going to go to Winnie, who's just here on the end. Winnie, what's wrong? Hi. Um, I love Grace and Frankie, by the way. Um, but, so, sometimes I let dumb things get the best of me. Um, with all your wisdom, what do you think truly matters in life? Oh. You probably didn't hear that, did you? I... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think matters in I life? certainly okay. heard her. Most of the time, you don't. Health. Like your health first. Yeah. <laughs> but then second, I would give up the obsessing with dumb things and focus on things that are less dumb. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful advice. Next up is McKenna. Now, McKenna's behind that camera. M McKenna, can you see McKenna there? We Hi. can't really see McKenna. I can see. Hi. Okay, okay. McKenna, <laughs> what's wrong? So, I, first of all, it's wonderful to meet both of you, but I live in a different city than my boyfriend and wanted to know if you had any advice for maintaining a long distance relationship while pursuing a career. Ooh. Any advice well, maintaining a long distance I would recommend phone sex. <laughs> Uh, what do you say, Miss Fonda? I, I second that. <laughs> We're going to go with phone sex, McKenna. Best I'll, of I'll luck. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got Nate here. Nate's sort of our writers on the show. Nate, what's, uh, what's wrong? Hi, so my, my biggest dream since I was a kid has always been to play in the NBA. Oh. Um, <laughs> should I just kind of let that go, or do you think there's still a chance? How tall are you? Um, I am currently 5'8", but I'm told when I finish physical therapy, I could be as tall as 5'8 and a half, so... <laughs> sports casting. So I try sports casting. No, I admire... I, well, I admire that. I admire the fact that he's relating to reality. <laughs> And, uh, but he doesn't know. Do you know that Muggsy Bogues was five foot three and he was 14 seasons as the point guard? <laughs> and he, the thing is, he perfected, he had, a, he had so many wonderful things on the field. He would like, he would like turn a somersault between the player's legs. <laughs> And he could intercept the ball, and they'd be so confused, they would pick him up <laughs> and drop him through the basket with the ball. And uh, that was just one thing that he, that he was able to do. <laughs> so what we're saying, we're saying, we're saying don't give up. No, don't. Always keep the possibility alive, but you could be a sportscaster in the meantime. <laughs> That's it, Nate. Do not give up. Wonderful advice. Yeah. All right, next up, we're going to go to Olivia here. Olivia's a writer on the show. Olivia, what, what's wrong? Hi, uh, my husband and I just had a baby, so I... Thank you. <laughs> I'm wondering if you have tips on how to maintain an active sex life when you're both tired all of the time. Okay. Do you have anything funny to say to that? Because I have something to say, but it's not funny. But is it meaningful? Well, I don't know. <laughs> is your part... You said your husband? Yeah, okay. yeah. Does he share the, the, the duties? Yes, yes. Getting we're... up so you're both tired. Yeah, we're both real Well, tired. there you go. Make a pact. You don't have to have sex during this period of time. You know, or... Or if you could switch to phone sex, like... <laughs> So we're saying, no don't pressure. pressure it. Don't pressure it. I'm right. sure your husband is going to be thrilled. <laughs> <And if> <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go. Good advice. All right, next up is Nick. Nick, what's up? Um, you, you're both very strong and independent people, and I was wondering if you could help me 
how, how could I command more authority at my job from employees? What, what is your title? I'm, I'm the senior vice president of late night programming, West Coast. Make yourself president. <laughs> Who is, who is the president, Nick? Th there is no president. <laughs> it's an open field. There you go. It's an if open... you do something like that, people will really respect you for it. <laughs> yeah, if you, yeah, specifically, if you, specifically if you one appoint person. yourself president, yeah. they yeah. will respect you for right. that. <laughs> I mean, do you, think a, do you think a haircut would help? <laughs> Just oh. off the bat? No, you know what would help is a ponytail. <laughs> Women Get love ready. men, especially presidents with ponytails. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Get ready, get ready. My Let's God. see if there's more respect. Let's hear yes. a drum roll. <laughs> yes. 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 Nick. He looks, he looks. So happy that you're here at the show. I, I love everything you do for us. I, uh, it wouldn't be the place that we work in, if you... Wow, it really did work. The pony <laughs> show. It absolutely worked. Look at that. More respect and make yourself president. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Life Advice. Stick around. Lily Tomlin and Jane Bonner will be here when we come back.